Well, that's right. Right now, supporters are out here gathering signatures from anyone who's passing by. They have roadside stations like this set up across the state on nearly a daily basis now. And one of their most passionate supporters is a mom from Choctaw. I don't know anybody that wouldn't do absolutely everything to save their kid, I mean, to save your child. Amy Berlin Hillebrand is desperate to save her son. She planned to take him to this playground to meet with us, but after a seizure, he couldn't get out of bed. 12 year old Austin has Dravet syndrome, a severe form of epilepsy. He has grandma seizures uh, every day. Sometimes he has hundreds of seizures a day. We've gone through nine years of trying different prescription pills, um, combinations of medications, dozens of different dosages. Nothing has helped. The only thing they haven't tried medical marijuana. If this is something that works for him, then we have to look at that. This mom says it's been a miracle drug for other kids with Dravet. If you get right down to it, it's going to save my kid's life. She's working to get medical marijuana legalization on the November ballot, but worries Austin can't wait that long. This month, the family will travel to Colorado where the drugs are legal so Austin can get treatment. If the drugs work and Oklahoma doesn't change its laws, the family will move. We just want to do whatever it takes. <laughs> And this petition will also be at a fundraiser to pay for the cost of Austin's trip to Colorado. That will take place next weekend. You can find a list of places to sign this on our website, KOCO.com. Reporting live on the northwest side, Kim Passoff, KOCO 5 News.